Right to Peter Ducey, who is live at Longwood University. Uh, so, Peter, what can we expect? Uh, Heather, it's really interesting. We just got a little taste of how things are probably going to go tonight from Indiana Governor Mike Pence, who's using a little bit of his own record to explain how he would help a President Donald Trump. But it really is all going to be about Trump and Clinton since they are at the top of the ticket tonight. Governor of Virginia, unemployment doubled. And while I've been governor of the state of Indiana, we've cut employment in half, and there's more Hoosiers working than ever before in the 200-year history of the state of Indiana. And that's exactly the kind of leadership that Donald Trump is going to bring to the White House with exactly the same results. As for Kane's strategy tonight, an aide tells Fox News Channel that they're going to try to draw Pence out and that, quote, let's see if he is willing to defend Trump. Kane spent the weekend in Raleigh, North Carolina, preparing for tonight's debate behind closed doors, while Pence was in Wisconsin, where that state's Governor Scott Walker stood in and pretended to be Tim Kane during mock debate sessions. The New York Times is reporting that Pence also watched video of Kane to try and learn his tendencies, and the Trump campaign manager told Sean Hannity last night that we should expect to see a feisty Mike Pence tonight, which would be new. A recent CNN ORC poll shows the two running mates have nearly identical favorability ratings. Kane 40, Pence 41. That obviously means that some people have no opinion of either yet. So tonight presents an important opportunity for both sides. Whatever happens, we do know that Pence plans to roll out of Farmville, Virginia on a swing state bus tour with stops here in Virginia, then Pennsylvania, Ohio, and North Carolina. Heather and Clayton, back to you. And swing states. All right. Thanks, Pete, for that. <laughs>